Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Let's Play Persona 4. So, straight up, what we have to do is drink the bad milk in the fridge. Because bad milk is bad, and we get a lot of courage from doing so. And isn't that just a little bit gross? Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that would kill most people. I say most just so I don't discriminate. It's midnight. Oh yeah, Kanji would be dead if we didn't save him today. I forgot about that, it's been a long time since I last recorded. The fog is set in, and let us look into this TV. Look deeply into its eyes and feel the passion behind them. Mmm, girl. Sorry. Um, now what we have to do is, of course, go and... Today's Sunday? Again? Yeah, so now today is Sunday, and that means we can watch the Tanaka show! Which I'm very excited for because uh, there's something on the Tanaka show that we can use to help us with uh, side quests. So let's watch the shopping program. I'll just uh, skip the rest of this crap because I want. Not that one, I want the other one. In a trout and the. Uh, yeah, okay. We want the fish. And yeah, we have a. Sh a. In a trout combo. We have a lot of money, so it's fine. Now, you do not want to go to the Diadea Metalworks yet. There is a reason for that. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so that's the weather forecast. Doesn't really matter. We are going. Where are we going? We're going to do a... Hang out with Chie by the looks of it. So let's go into town. Yep. I'm curious. Okay, so I've actually never been here before. Ever. There's, there's a dog and there's a girl and the dog doesn't look very healthy. What's what's up with the dog? Oh. I'll try it. Okay, so it was bait. Nice. Talk to her every day for bait if you want to because I read that somewhere. Now we need to go to the central shopping district and hang out with our old buddy, Chie. I swear, I only record this game in between texts from my girlfriend because straight up, she'll say something, then wait an hour, then text me like five times, then wait an hour. It's weird. All right, we're gonna spend time with Chie. Yeah, let's go. Samagawa River, you decided to train with Chie. Hey, Chie, what you doing? Training? Well, I'm working out. Huh. When are you gonna graduate to become King of the Hill? No, that's not it. In kindergarten, it was the Runt Gang. In elementary school, you're an ally of justice. Middle school is the uh, vanguards of the lunch revolution, wasn't it? <laughs> so what is it now? Are you a protector of the Earth's peace? Quit bagging on him, bro. Huh? Oh, uh, I didn't mean in a mean way. I'm Takashi Kono. I was the Chi up till middle school. I'm not gonna get in your guys' way. Uh, wait. How's Yukiko doing? Does she have a boyfriend yet? She's fine? I don't think so. I see. Cool, cool. She's still good looking? Maybe I should try for her again. I'll see you later. Say hi to Yukiko son for me. She looks like she has crush.
All right, give me one sec. Sorry guys, I have to pause because women. And um, yeah, should share your impression of a different Takashi. I'm sorry. He really is rude, huh? Seriously, he's always staring at Yukiko. Hey, don't get me wrong. He's nothing but an old classmate to me. We're just friends, you know. He used to get that a lot, though. We used to get that a lot, though. Chie smiles somewhat sadly. You feel like you've learned something about Chie. You feel like your relationship with Chie has grown deeper. Rank four. But that's all in the past. Let's head home. Hmm. See you later. Alright, we have to go read, so we shall do that. Alright, so let us read books, because books. Was that England? I think that was England. Alright. Read Forever Macho thoroughly. We feel very manly now. Okay, this is a very important day in the game. Uh, hi there! <laughs> Where'd the manners come from? Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. Thanks a bunch. Though, I don't really remember what happened. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. First off, who is that boy you met with? I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. But I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. Two guy. I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so, you know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh, I started thinking, what if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. Uh, I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our family's run a textile shop for generations. Oh yeah, you, you already knew that. My parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, yeah, that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Girls make fun of me. The people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. What is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. 
Uh, forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow, I'm surprised. You're a good kid. Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. <laughs> no need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was going to sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I, mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. A dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Huh? Now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. And I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? Hmm, well, something like that. Anything I can do to help? There's some bastard out there who put me through this. I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. I'll do my best. Well, if we're going to welcome aboard a new member... Should we take him to our special headquarters? Oh, uh, we're, we're still calling it that? What? What's that? Come on, let's go! Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? Huh? Well, sure, I was, I was listening. Ah, close your mouth. Wait, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, what, what is he, beating them to death? No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? Don't worry, he'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. 
What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Who the hell do you think was next? His name is Kanji Tatsumi. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. So who are you dipshits? <laughs> Boring. Oh, I can't stand it. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, how could they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? Well, both Yukiko and Kanji-kun were involved in some way or another. But that announcer was dealing with their mothers, not them. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, listen up, because I got something big. What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? Alright, just straight up go to the list of TV programs, because that is the only important one, because it talks about the day that they were seen on TV. These dates? April 11th? Before they died. Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the, the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki Senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? What's Saki Konishi April 13th? I see. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Oh yeah, I saw that too. They were interviewing her because she found that first body. Then this part. Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV too? Oh, she was on! I remember now, that was when the affair hit the news. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed too? When did that interview air? Thank you. It was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? I went shopping that day, so... April 15th. And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go apeshit on me and... The date! Just tell us the date! Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. It's true then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. A 
think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case, they were also shown on the mass media. Yeah, that must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Why can't I be smarter? Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. You rescued me, too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's true, but... What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. Oh, we were so close! Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. Well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways, let's keep checking the Midnight Channel like usual when it rains. Ah, that reminds me. The school campout's next week. Oh, I hope it doesn't rain. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun. Seriously? School, huh? What a drag. Yo, mind if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh, we're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Huh? What's up? Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. None of it. What?! Oh yeah. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. Didn't think it was a bear, though. Hey, why is it a bear? I don't know. Me neither. I've been wondering, too. It, it's kind of cute. M mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister! <laughs> hey, don't give me any lip, bear! <laughs> uh, by the way, I've, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped, too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone, too? Th that's uh... What was it like for Senpai... <clears throat> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. My jaw! I'll be more gentle next time. More... gentle? <sighs> what a pair of dimwits. Oh yeah, here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. Ah, oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. Hurry and put them on. Huh? Sure, but hang on, aren't these different from everyone else's? on you. <laughs> Damn, dude. It looks great on you. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki-chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. Yeah, real funny, you smartass. 
Why are you taking it out on me? Give me that! <laughs> you took my spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. This is the real one. Wasn't easy getting it to you. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Damn it! I'll get you guys for this someday. Thanks, Nana-chan. Alrighty, so tonight we are going to read once more. After a phone call, apparently. Oh, it's Kanji. Yeah, no, we're not going to the TV yet. We will... On the... 9th, maybe? No, 10th, okay. We're gonna read. We gotta finish this book. We're gonna continue reading it thoroughly. We are gonna hang with Yane today because, um, yeah, that's what I get. Yeah, we're going to practice. Thank you. <sighs> we got nothing else to do, so. Yeah! It's gonna be a lot of days just like this in this game now, where you're like, okay, let's go hang out with this one person. And that's it, that's your entire day. So, yeah, parts of this game get very boring now, but the social links are still pretty good. Yane is sounding good. Whew. Senpai. I'm going to the river to practice. It's a peaceful area. There's even a little ro roof nearby so I can still practice when it's raining. I've been going there every day even when they don't have rehearsal. I need all the practice I can get. Maybe a lost cause, but I might as well try. Thanks to you, Senpai. I'd be on my own. I would have given up. Senpai, I... I'll make it a performance to be proud of, but... Uh, I don't want this to get serious. It scares me, guys. It scares me. <laughs> get out of here, freak! I'm just playing, y'all. Alright, so now we're gonna go finish Forever Macho. Because that's what the thing says to do. Oh god, I just read what we have to do tomorrow. No, it's scary. Scary, guys. It's spooky. Okay? How will you continue reading Forever Macho? Thoroughly. We have finished reading Forever Mudger. It's June already, yeah? I'm just gonna skip all this because I already know the answer. Where does the term come from, do you know? From the play Hamlet, darling. Yes, but that actors have the distinction of being called ham for many reasons scholars can't agree on, actually. But I'm sure you all know Shakespeare's Hamlet. Mm, that's such a popular. Yeah, fuck it. I don't even care. Thanks, man. Ooh. That's touching. 
Sorry, that was a bad meme. Um, yeah. Now we get questions from Morocco. Hey, Narakami, did you know this week is Health Week and you're not part of the Student Health Association? In other words, you're a lazy bum. I hate lazy good-for-nothing kids like you, so I'm signing you to take places for of a sick member. Uh, w wait. Quiet, you. I don't know what school's like for you big city kids, but here, it's every student's duty to pitch in. Don't tell me you're not enough of a man to do something this easy. I don't want to do it. <laughs> it's too late, I've already signed you up. Now get over there or face suspension. Um, good luck. <laughs> Alrighty, now we have to do this BS. Yeah. Oh, Yukon was at the transfer student, right? Did you get hurt or something? Tell them I've been sent here to replace a sick member. Thank goodness we're running low on people. Need to check around the school to see if anyone needs help, but someone has to stay here and watch this room. Alrighty. Now, touching the medicine, of course, if someone hurt shows up, use the first aid kit. The only other things you'd have to worry about are salesmen and phone calls. They're pretty uncommon, though. I would think so. Alrighty. Someone's here. Hello, I'm Kitao from Pharmaceuticals. Are there any adults here? Um, 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 okay, thanks, man. Um... That one? I assume that was right. Good. Alright, um... Let's... Yeah. Okay, just... just stop. There he is. This is Saki's younger brother. I'm Kenishi, a first year. You knew Saki, right? I'm a brother. You're friends with Yosuke, right? I hate him, and you too. Can I go home now? I have to help out at home. I'm a mess, you understand, right? Goodbye. You plenty of little fuck! Alright. That was fun. Welcome home. I went shopping today. That's good because I am cooking. Yes, we have fish. Okay, the fish the fish is gonna be helpful. I open the fridge, there's a variety of food. Okay, yes, we're making a lunch. And we have to make it simmer. You've run out of curry powder, what do you do? You make it You let it simmer. Let's just say that. Spicy curry. Ooh. Alright, there's a lot of quests to do today. Yeah, we're sharing our lunch with Yosuke. So that's gonna be fun. Cause he likes curry. You ate the spicy curry together. Damn, that's good. This your recipe, you? I only know how to buy likes myself. It's Yosuke's favorite. 
we fucking win. Yeah, well, he's only got one rank left, which is, like, June the 13th, I think, that we finish his social link rank thing. Anyway, so we are going to be going to the Central Shopping District to do a few quests for the moment. Then we have to come back and do Rank 9 Magician, so that's going to be fun. So we're going to um, Central Shopping District. And we have to go talk to the little girl who's lost her sister, I believe. Something weird like that. Maybe this one? I don't know. I have no idea. Someone got me and my sister mixed up again. Oh, we're just like people who can't tell us. Everyone says that we're jealous. Uh, I've got something to ask you. Listen to her. I'll look for her. Yep, we took a quest. Um, talk to this guy. Okay, I'm just... Okay. Let's just go to the riverbank because we can do two quests now. So we're going to go to the Samagawa uh, riverbank. Go down to the water and feed the fish. Wherever the cat is. I'm going to feed the cat, not the fish, but... We have to find the cat first. Um, kitty, here kitty, um... Where's the kitty? Dutch is slant. Nah, let's, let's just not. A whole bunch for me. Good for you, bruh. The, might, the cat might be up here. I have no idea. We're looking for a cat. Wherever the kitty is, that will be cool. Then again, um, we are walking pretty fast, so... Is that her? Is that the sister over there? Yeah, it is. But is that a dog that we just... No, it's the kitty! It's the kitty! Hello! Here, kitty! Yes. Feed the cat. Feed the cat. Alright, so now we go talk to this little girl over here. What is it? You've seen that? Yeah, she looks like a twin. Yeah. Alrighty, let's go back into town and finish those two fucking quests. Excuse my bad language. Now we go to shopping district again. Okay, talk to this guy first. He'd be like, thanks for feeding the cat. The punk's way, ooh. Alright, so we're gonna talk to her now. Um, yeah, so that was probably a good idea to do that. Now I need to go back to school. Um, do 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 do. Yes, Akami. I just want to check Chie really quick because I know she gives me the meat gum, but I wasn't sure if I can do that today. Because I'm not sure if she wants to see me today. So I'll just head onto the roof and see if she's got an exclamation mark. If she hasn't, that's amazing. Um, but she does want to hang out with me, so that's bad. So I have to go back to the classroom building too and hang out with my boy Yosuke. Bruh. Bruh. Yosuke, bruh. He's happy, man. Yosuke brought you here. I hated this place when I first came to Inaba. You can tell how small this town is from up here. But looking at it now, it's a nice town. Yosuke is smiling sadly. I want to tell Saki-senpai something. That what's important isn't where you are. This town I hated so much, now I love it. There's still nothing here, but I have family and friends, and you. 
the important things are never far off. They're all around you. I always wanted to be special. I thought my life would finally have meaning if I was special to someone. That's why I was really excited when I got my persona. But I really didn't need it. It's not what you have or what you can do. Just being born, living your life. Before you know it, you're already special to someone. Yeah, like you. You're special to me, you know? Man, I just want to give Yosuke a hug sometimes. Yeah. So yeah, basically Yosuke can get the shit bit out of him now. One more rank and we can make the ultimate magician persona. Which we actually really want, so that's a thing. Alright, now we have the... Hierophant Arcana, Welcome. which is right here, hang with Dejima, and come to think of it, Dejima's looking at a copy of the Pierre. Alright. Yeah, um, spend time. Ah. This should be rank 6, Hierophant. The newspaper article? Oh yeah, I found it. Were you worried about it? It's about Chiaster. Chrysater, my wife, when she was killed by a hit and run. I told you before, right, about the case where we never had a suspect? Get it now? There's nothing more I can say about it in this house. Let's stop there. <laughs> you win. She, Nanako's mother was run over on her way to pick Nanako up from nursery school. It was a cold day and there were no witnesses, so they didn't find her until much later. Until they got word to me, Nanako was waiting all that time at the nursery, all alone, waiting for a mother who would never come. I couldn't tell Nanako about her mother. That her father, whose job was to catch criminals, couldn't find a single lead. But I haven't given up. I'll catch the guy. I don't need a private life to do that. Nanako will understand. Mm. Even if it's not what she wants now, she'll understand someday. I have to tell myself that. Sorry. Leave me alone for now. You. Thanks. You can sense his pain. Now, Dejima's character actually makes sense. So, yeah, he's a little bit... Like, you can see why he's a bit of a dick sometimes to Nanako. So... It's just because he is, like, very protective of her after what happened to... Um, his wife. Yo! Who do you think will show up at the midnight? Um, no one's gonna show up for a while. Alright, so we're just gonna go to the TV today, and then I will stop. Ooh, the instant noodles really hit the spot. You know, the rainy season's just about here. Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the midnight too. Yay, no sleep. <laughs> Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought you were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. Why are you so excited about that? That's right, it's the first time for you two. 
you realize the only purpose of the school campout is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? Yeah, they tell us that up front, so? Well, you see, the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain. Picking up trash? Develop a love my ass, that's slave labor! Well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. The four of us are in the same group. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night, too? You wish! Guys and girls sleep in different tents. I'm warning you, if you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. This gets worse and worse. I thought it was going to be fun. It's only for one night, and we disband before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. Oh, well, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. Do they let you go swimming? I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. So you can swim in the river. What Yosuke has planned is absolutely phenomenal. You guys will see that in the next episode because now we're going into the TV. So that's going to be fun. Basically, um, there's that extra boss in the steamy bathhouse and I want to train Kanji a little bit. Just so we're comfortable going into the third dungeon because I don't think we're going back into the TV before then. So just to, you know, get comfy before that happens. So I might grind a bit off screen for that very purpose so let us gather everyone at the food court and is that a dodge that's a dodgy okay cool yo go into the tv all right let's go Alright, so I'm going to thank y'all so much for watching, and um, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.